Dr. Mercier did his first resection in, in her seventh grade year. It was a very life-changing moment for me. And it just dawned on me that it's not just the seizures or the epilepsy anymore, it was something else. I said I had a rock in my head that was growing. And let me just say, I think I bawled my eyes out going from the hospital home. I have known Mary for a very long time. So I, I got to know her, oh, I would say four or five years ago. She presented to the Children's Hospital with seizures. And we had an MRI demonstrating a tumor in the left temporal lobe. The first operation did was to remove the temporal lobe, all aspects of the tumor. Our scan afterwards was very normal. We didn't have any abnormal tissue. Part of any follow-up for a brain tumor patient is to repeat imaging every so often. There are some tumors that have a tendency to come back, and hers does. So despite us removing all the MRI abnormal signal, she still had some developments of some areas of concern that grew over time. We had to return and take those out. He was very optimistic, and through the entire time since the first time he met us, there was a sense of just reassurance with him and his nurse practitioner, Anne. And, and it's hard, you know, when you have a situation like this with a brain tumor that, I mean, when you go out into the, the average world, everybody just, oh my gosh, you're dying. In Mary's situation, it is routine brain surgery. She had her last brain surgery here in August and she was home in less than 48 hours. Mary had gone, undergone successive scans over a year, everything was fine, no new symptoms, perfectly normal child. And there was an area that started to be of concern in the depths of the bed of the resection cavity. At first, it was actually concerning that she had developed an aneurysm there. So we did all the investigations for that, not an aneurysm, it's a growing tumor. So at some point we had to decide, you know, should we just resect it? Again, if we remove every last cell, she should be cured. So what I suggested to Mary is that we wait a few extra months, do it during the summer, after the intraoperative MRI is installed. So I took her to St. Louis University Hospital, um, where we took her to the operating room, opened the same incision that we had opened before, got into the surgical bed, identified what, where we thought the tumor was using our stereo taxi or GPS, removed abnormal tissue, but again, after you know multiple surgeries and scarring, everything looks abnormal. We removed what we thought was the lesion and placed it. And yet, while she was still open, while the operating room equipment is still all available for use, we put a, a bag over the sterile field, put in the intraoperative MRI, and scanned her and realized that we had completely removed the lesion. So then I could take her back out, close, send her on her way. She went home in a day. It was very nice to know, for us to know that um, one surgery was only going to be needed since we had the MRI and the new technology and the hopefulness with the, the more current technology that we possibly would be able to get a very, I mean, I guess a, a, a better cut and not have to keep doing this. Before she was even closed, I could call mom and say the tumor is all gone. Rather than, oh, there may be a little bit left, it's still an area of concern, we should keep an eye on it. At, at this point, we know that everything's removed and everything's all gone. Having such an exceptional surgeon here in St. Louis that we are able to grow with from, you know, Cardinal Glennon now to as an adult, but he is there to rally behind us and encourage her. He's encouraged her. He looks at all her pictures every time she has something else going on in her life. And they've, you know, they're encouraging her to head off to college and live her life in independence and being able to accommodate her for her medical testing back here in St. Louis. It's, it's very satisfying for everybody. And, and you know, it's, as a parent, I think it would be very reassuring to know that, okay, the operation's done, but it's done. It's not just done, the goals have been achieved. Rather than the operation's done, now we have to wait for the MRI the next day to see whether there's still an area of concern and decide whether or not to do another operation or know that there's something abnormal in the back of our minds for the next three months, six months, nine months, one year. So it, it provides a lot of relief for everybody. She made it through the first three month checkup here in October and no signs of any return. And then she'll be going through her six month follow up here in January.